This is quite the homecoming right now for both these men who are coming through the crowd right now. Chris Hauser, do you want to explain why this is such a big deal for not only just Death Group, but independent wrestling here in Ontario with Shawnee Mo? Oh, man, you know what? My heart is pounding right now because we have got the White Trash Circus back together here at Lee's Palace. Shawnee Mo diagnosed with brain cancer just a short time ago, and now he is back in a Death Proof ring competing here tonight. See, I like to know what exactly, what kind of commission, what promotion besides Zephyr, obviously, would even let a guy like Shawnee Mo back in the ring. Not just because of what he's gone through, mind you, what you were just saying, but because of how vicious he is. Like, Matt Cash is a dangerous man, but Shawnee Mo and Matt Cash together, these two together are one of the sickest, most violent tag teams Ontario, nay, nay, Canada has ever seen. And we still don't know who their opponents are. Nobody has voluntarily signed up to go against these two yet. Well, I, I looked for the sheep backstage to sign both of us up, but I couldn't find it. I, I appreciate that, Adam. I appreciate that. Should have signed up old school instead. You could use the workout. Oshawa getting a lot of love tonight so far. You know, besides, you know, the Schwa style king himself sitting in commentary right now. I think your highest ratings is what I was on your podcast. We have Clayton Sincade. A lot of people may not know him here at Death Roof, but at one point, this guy, 10 years ago or so, was making a name for himself in Oshawa, in Southern Ontario, for having some very strong, hard-hitting matches. He's taken some time away from the ring, bettered himself, and now he's here at Death Roof to make a name for himself, and what a way to do so against the guys like Shawnee Bowe and Matt Cash. Respect and love for this guy is well. I take it back. He just spit all over me. It is raining. Just insane juice all over the comments. Please don't ever say that again. Please don't ever say that again. I feel dirty and need a shower. Anyways, I was saying before I was so really spit on by this guy. One of the best hybrid athletes, not just in Death Group but all of Canada. Justin Sane. I think the White Trash Circus might have their work cut out for them this time around. Absolutely. And again, I've had the pleasure of managing this guy in a little uh, <clears throat> stable back in the day known as Salvation. And he was, if not one of the best wrestlers that I personally have ever seen live. So, Clayton Sincade, if he's the one that went out and found Justin Sane for this matchup to be able to be his tag team partner, hell of a good pick. Just feeling kind of left out over there. But no, you, you got to hand it to, to Shawnee Mo getting in the ring after the uh, adversity that he's battled in the last couple of years. Should we give him credit though, or should we call it stupidity? Because, like, I'm not saying that he's stupid. Trust me, I, I don't want to, you know, him to ever hear that. But I'm just saying, you know, do you think it's really smart for a man with his condition? Oh, they're getting, they're starting this off. Do you think it's smart with a man with his condition to be getting in a ring, especially in a violent company like Death Brew, against two guys that never teamed before, and two guys that he probably hasn't been able to study? Well, you mean, I mean, I think you only live once, and Shawnee Moe is going to live his life to the fullest, and I don't think it really matters what anybody says, medical doctor, whatever. He's just going to do whatever the fuck he wants anyway. Well, he's doing whatever the fuck he wants right now. Pardon the language, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Cash receiving a, a healthy dose of blows there from the night train. 
Yeah, but you better not be sleeping too. You were saying before the overshadowing part. Don't sleep on Matt Cash. This guy's a former Death Proof Tournament Champion winner. Shawnee Mo now going for a cover. Trying to make short work of this team. Two count only. Trying to make quick work for it. And again, smart move. If I were Shawnee Mo, I try to get this done as quick as possible. And singling out, you know, maybe the less of the two experienced guys in the ring right now in Clayton Sincade. Oh, look at this. Going for another quick cover. Still only two. That was a terrible tag. Here we go. <laughs> well, they haven't been in a ring together. I'll give them some. Yeah, a little bit of ring rust. That's okay. Oh, vicious knife edge chop there from Matt Cash. Why does he want us to quiet? Everybody understand. quiet down. Oh, that's oh, why. Wow. Oh, wow. There's a heap and helping the chops. I don't think he ordered any of those. But he got him anyways. Duck the line. Oh, but Clayton with a big one of his own. Man, he is just a bruiser, isn't there, isn't he? He is pretty vicious. Line him up. Laying those big forearms down on the back of Matt Cash. Going for a cover. Pound him down like a railroad spike, that's for sure. And that's kind of smart. I mean... You know, the smaller of the two guys is clearly Matt Cash, so, you know, single one of them out. Whoa! Shawnee Moe nearly got knocked into the front row there. Wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Now just insane going to work on Matt Cash. Couple of boots to the head there, bringing him back to his feet now. Here's the guy you got to worry about. Oh! Drop kick that was. Beautiful textbook right on the button. Shouldn't be stalling though. There we go. He's going to go for a pin. No, no. He's going to hammer him in a little bit. He wants to soften him up even more. He wants to dish out some punishment and some pain because. Well, actually, I don't know why he would want to do that. Actually, if I was against the White Trail Circus, I'd want to get it done quick. Big splash cover. And there's the resiliency from Matt Cash. He is not an easy pin. You know what, though? It's pretty smart. Even though these two have never teamed before, they're cutting the ring in half. They're actually doing some pretty dominant tag team wrestling. But I actually kind of think the more that this turns into a wrestling match, the better for Clayton and Justin. If this turns into a wild brawl, this is, you know, white trash all day long. Absolutely. Yep, 100%. Couldn't agree more. And uh, we've got some weapons out here that have not been used yet. I see a chain there. I saw some cheese graters. Oh, wow. Just the same. Trying to knock Shawnee Mo to that front row again. You gotta be careful of that. Every shot to the head that Shawnee Mo takes could potentially be it's devastating. Devastating, yeah. More than, more so than anybody else. Oh. Oh wow, that was a huge chop. Cash reeling in pain. His chest is so hot you can fry bacon on it. Jesus. Oh, another one. Oh, wow. You know, he probably deserved that, though. He might have said something in the back that we don't know about. Oh, he absolutely probably said something in the back. Problem is he's hurt. Oh, he almost got him. And another fast cover. Uh, smart, though, by Clayton. Making trying him use to, more energy, trying to get him with those pins. Yeah, trying to catch him off guard, absolutely. He's still keeping him away from Shawnee Mo. Boy, these guys are a tagging tag. in and out very, very quick. Look at this, classic tag team wrestling. Just cut the ring in half, tag team maneuvers in and out. Oh, Look they went for the double suplex. Oh! oh. Cash with a double DDT! Beautiful moment. his chance. Beautiful momentum right there by Cash. Was able to swing his weight downwards and catch both of them with that DDT. Spine Buster! Is he going to go for a cover? Is he going to try to tag out? Everybody's down. And it's just a pile of bodies here in the ring. Matt Cash is going to make it. There's the tag to Shawnee Mo. Well, Shawnee Mo is waiting, salivating, waiting for this opportunity. And there's a barrage of clotheslines on Justin Sin. Jesus, he hasn't lost a step.
step in there. And the crowd knows it and they're showing their appreciation. Oh! Yes, he's gonna headbutt it. This is signature Shawnee Mo right here. This is stupid Shawnee Mo. I'm gonna tell him you said that, Hayes. Uh, I'd rather you not. Shawnee Mo giving instructions to Matt Cash. Oh, basement drop kick right there in the solar plexus. And Matt Cash is going to, he's going to grab a table. What would it be a death proof show without a table? Classic white trash circus right here. What, finding really crappy looking tables? Yes, because this one might actually break. All right, it's not like that evil table that I've heard the rumors about. That table is legendary here at Death Proof. I'm scared of that table. I'm scared of a lot of things, though. These Toronto squirrels are huge, Chase. And look, this is exactly what I said. You turn this into a brawl, you cut the ring in half. This is how White Trash is going to be able to take advantage of the situation. Shawnee Mo whipping Matt Cash in there, and here's a signature move right here. Yeah. Assault and battery. Yeah. Hip toss into the cannonball in the corner, and it is all White Trash Circus right now. Clayton looks out in the corner. If I were Matt, I'd be going for a cover. Nope. Well, let's go for the cheese grater instead. Why yes. the hell not? The cheese grater chucks. Or, oh, oh my god. Anybody want some grated skin on their salad? I'd rather not. This seems like a health hazard. And at least 12 this whole place is a health hazard, Hayes. Have you seen it? It's almost as bad as the rock pile. Oh, someone's leaking like a faucet over there. Lane Sincade is bleeding, and I do not blame him. Getting his face ripped open. Oh, yeah, he is, you're, like you said, leaking out like a faucet right now. If it wasn't from the barbed wire headbutts from Shawnee Mo, it was definitely from that cheese grater. Shawnee Mo on the outside of the ring, taking care of business with Justin Sane, hitting him over there with a garbage can. Look at this, the fight, though, and Clayton. Clayton's Fire trying back. to fight back here. He is busted wide open, wrapping that chain around his knuckles. Better turn around, though. Oh! That's like a Hulk Hogan boot right there to the head. Hulk Hogan never hit a boot that devastating in his life. Or a Kevin Nash boot, maybe? Either no, way, it was a big boot. Well, Shawnee Moe didn't tear his quad, so it definitely wasn't a Kevin Nash boot. This table is just innocently sitting here. It's ominous right now. In the ring. Okay, they're picking their they're picking their shots though. They're kind of like hyenas right now. Kind of like just circling. Yep, they're waiting. circling like wolves. Exactly. Old school trying to clean up some of uh, Clayton's blood there. So you say wolves, I say hyenas because they're definitely enjoying this right now. Oh, he is leaking. So bad right now. Oh, Shawnee Mo! Oh. Barbed wire chair shot to Clayton. This could be it. This could be it. It should be it. Shawnee Mo standing over his opponent. Just Clayton's taunting. out. Clayton is out cold. He has lost a lot of blood. That chair shot. Definitely. And send shockwaves through your skull. Just dumps him out like a sack of garbage. This has been one of the most brutal matches I have ever seen at Death Proof. And I've seen some brutal shit. I almost forgot Justin Sane was on the outside during all this. Yeah. Oh, 
And Shawnee Mo's calling him out, saying, come back in the ring. Eagles, he's got a beer now. Is he like Popeye in the spinach? Maybe he's just got some rejuvenation from that beer. Oh, spitting it in the face of what is Cash. What's with him and spitting liquid on it? There's no point. There's no point to doing that. Yeah, Justin Sane doesn't want to do this, play a brawling game right now. There we go. Oh, and a huge knife edge chop there from Justin Sane. He has one of the hardest chops in the business. Sizing him up. Oh! Step up in Sagiri! And that was in the back of the face. He hit him right square in the front of the face. Shawnee Mo now. He is way more than three quarters of the way right now. Laying helpless on that table. Justin Sand going to the top. What's going to happen Dude, here? Dude, he's really far. He's really far. Circus to lose in this fashion. Let's take another look at it. Just insane up on the ropes. And that is like three quarters of the way across the ring. Look at the distance and height that he gets. And he does not miss going right through Shawnee Mo and the table, getting the one, two, three, and that is it. Look, I told you this was a make or break match for Clayton Sincade. He chose clearly the right partner. And just insane, one of the best athletes Jeff Bruce has ever had. Hats off to, you know, the white trash, you know, circus. But tonight, it was all about Clayton and just insane.